Hello, my name is David with Winning Solutions. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an access database, but find that it is too much work, or you could be doing something more productive with your time? WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server, so you can run it on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. There is some confusion about Microsoft Access 32-bit versus 64-bit, or should I say more specifically, or more generally, Microsoft Office 32-bit versus 64-bit. Now, let me say at the outset that this is not the same thing as whether your computer runs a 64 or 32-bit version of Windows. So there are some issues that we need to talk about if, you're, if you have a 32-bit version, if you have an access database that was written using the 32-bit and now you're trying to run it on 64-bit Office, it's a mostly seamless process, but not completely. It's not completely compatible between the two, at least not without making some changes. So that's what we're going to discuss here. So most new computers, uh, if they're running 64-bit Windows, and pretty much all of them are, uh, and, you're, and you're trying to install Microsoft Office, the installation will, particularly if you're using Office 365, um, Office 64-bit will be the default version that gets installed. You can change this. You can change this, and that's something we sometimes recommend, uh, installing the 32-bit version instead, but you have to tweak the setup program a little bit just to make some choices. If you just let the setup program run and you're running 64-bit Windows, 64-bit Office will automatically be installed. So it, you have to kind of pay attention to that. Uh, as I said, this is not the same thing as 32-bit versus 64-bit Windows. Uh, if you have if if you have 32-bit Windows, 32-bit Windows, you're going to have 32-bit Office. If you have 64-bit Windows, you can still install 32-bit Office on 64-bit Windows. However, you cannot install both 32-bit and 64-bit Office. Microsoft Office cannot exist on the same system. So you can install, when it comes to installing Office, you can install the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version, but not both. If you really need them both, then you have to look into things like virtual machines where you can install both, but that's beyond the uh, scope of this video. 32-bit uh, databases don't always work smoothly in 64-bit access, or I should say more specifically, databases written using 32-bit access. Um, in most cases, they will. But there are a few exceptions which we'll get to. And as I said earlier, uh, if, you're, if it's a 32-bit version of Windows, and I don't think that's some older versions of Microsoft Windows, and of Microsoft Windows Server may not come in 32-bit, although all of the most recent ones do have 64-bit. So the 32-bit Office, which we usually recommend that because 32-bit Office will work no matter what version of Windows you have. If it's 32-bit Windows or 64-bit Windows, you can always install 32-bit Office. And if you have a database written with 32-bit Office or 64-bit Office, it should run fairly well. The problem occurs when you have access databases written using 32-bit Office may not run smoothly on 64-bit Office right away. You have to make some modifications. They're minor modifications, but, the, but in order to get the database to run properly, uh, you may get a compile error, for example, saying that the code must be updated to run on 64-bit systems, meaning the 64-bit uh, uh, office. 
Again, this is different than 64-bit windows. I know that can be a little bit confusing, but right now we're talking about 64-bit Office. Now, uh, when it comes to the 64-bit version of Office, now, if the database is built properly, it will improve performance. It can reference larger memory spaces. However, the disadvantage, well, maybe not a disadvantage, but the database size limit is still two gigabytes. You don't, it's, that's the highest, that's the largest database you can get under access, and that's regardless of which version you have. Uh, ActiveX controls, which are generally discouraged. If you don't know what an ActiveX control, they are generally outside controls. A control is a button or a drop-down box or something like that. Um, those are controls written that are not included with access out of the box. They are usually, so, some of them are made by third party, some of them are made by Microsoft, but ActiveX controls may no longer work. ActiveX controls uh, used in a 32-bit database may not work in 64-bit Office. The other category is calls to a Windows API. And basically what that means in a nutshell is if you're making a call in the database that uses direct functionality from Windows, in other words, you're calling a command or a programming step, a programming line that doesn't use accesses functionality, that doesn't use access functionality, but directly uses the functionality in the operating system itself. Well, at that point, it's going to matter whether you're 62-bit or 32-bit. The code has to be declared slightly differently. And I apologize if this is a little technical. Um, but that's that's basically what it is. So if you know, not all applications have these Windows API calls. I find that only a small minority of them do, but some do, and some of the more uh, robust applications do, and that's something to be beware of as well as the ActiveX controls. We generally don't recommend ActiveX controls in general. They have more issues other than 64 or 32-bit Office. Now, when does conversion or why does conversion become necessary? Now, as I said, in many cases, conversion will not be necessary. You can take a database written in 32-bit office and run it fine in 64-bit office and vice versa. In most cases, the situation will be seamless, but you might get this error message, which we pasted at the bottom of the slide. And that can be a little scary, um, but this is in relation to the Windows API calls that I was talking about. And we'll have an example of this on the next slide. So as I said, if you're making Windows API calls or using ActiveX controls in 32-bit, uh, and the ActiveX controls could be specific, 32 or 64 bits, so you may run into problems there. So those are the two situations which you're most likely to need to convert a 32-bit database before it will run in 64-bit Office. And this is an example, again, this is, you know, if, if you don't understand the coding, that's fine. Uh, but for those of you who do, this is just an example. Uh, the top the top example is what you might see in 32-bit database. Basically, what we're doing here is we are taking a sleep function, which is a Windows function, and we're running it inside of Access. We're directly declaring a Windows function, not an Access functionality. And if you get that message and you're trying to run a 32-bit database in 64-bit, you would have to add this PTR safe keyword, which basically means pointer safe uh, again, Windows API calls in 32-bit versus 64-bit are slightly different. So how can we help? Well, WSI has successfully done many, many of this type of conversion. We could do the difficult parts for you. We could do it quickly. Now, the duration will depend slightly on the size and complexity of the database, but in most instances, it's a very straightforward process. WSI will also provide long-term support and enhancement, enhancements to the converted database for an additional fee, no subscription or anything is required. And most important, 
and also this is very important, we always stress this in all our videos, WSI customers own all the rights to any code that WSI writes or changes. Uh, once you paid for it, you own it. That is your database. So you, 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 know, uh, you own the rights to anything written from there. So just as a conclusion, uh, most Access 2010 plus databases will, will work fine in either 32 or 64 bit Office. If there are no API or ActiveX controls, the database should run fine in either version. Either 64-bit or 32-bit Office can be installed on 32-bit Windows. You just can't install both versions of Office on the same machine. Uh, WSI generally recommends 32-bit Office for our clients. Uh, if you have any questions or the conversion is too much for you to do, please be feel free to contact us. We do these types of 32-bit to 64-bit conversions all of the time. So you can reach us by calling us. Uh, you can go to our website to, to do a live chat with one of our sales team, or you can simply email us at informationwsi at winningsolutionsinc.com, and we will answer all your questions and go through the process with you. And if you want to hire us, we can certainly do all of this process for you. So you know what happens when you reach, when you get this error message. If you were running a, an old, if you're running a database on an old computer that happened to have 32-bit, now you get a brand new computer, you start loading the database, and you get this error message. Well, that is what happened. You went from 32-bit Office to 64-bit, and there are elements in your database that will not function without making those modifications. So I hope this helps. And uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, leave, you can also leave questions in the comments down below. Please remember to like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.